So these are my tips and tricks on how to PvP with split controls. Quick tips before you PvP. Wash your hands to remove excess oil, dirt, and sweat. Also prevent dry hands. Don't play that much while you're charging your device. And make sure you are in a zone where you can see your phone clearly, like not outside in the sun. Also finger sleeves can be a good gadget for your fingers. For further information, go check out Pata iOS's video. He explained it very well. First things first, you need to find settings that are com comfortable for you to PvP. As you can see in these clips, my crosshair is following the opponent. It's almost like I'm aim assisting without hacks. So these are my setting suggestions. On FOE, for iPad users, I suggest high FOE, like around 90 to 100. For phone users, I suggest medium FOE, like 80 to 95. The next sensitivity this basically comes to personal preferences and if you can't find it yourself then my suggestions are 35 to 45 so the second part aiming you should keep your crosshair at the top body parts of the opponent like from breast to head so that when you start a combo you don't have to aim straight up you can aim smoothly and aim part 2 Abdullah slash spider claw these will make you aim better instead of one thumb first what is Abdullah it's basically four fingers on the d-pad WASD keys and two fingers to aim it's really effective on iPads since they have bigger controls and bigger screen so for iPhones in most occasions your hand won't fit on the d-pad because of the small controls for that you can just use one thumb to move and strafe Okay, so for PvP, I suggest using fingers, pointer, and middle. If you are comfortable with other finger methods, then try those because not every person on this planet is the same. You can use pointer finger to aim and use both of your fingers to tap. Part 3, Tapping Methods. You don't have to spam butterfly tap, like 10 CPS or something. You can time your hits with 4 CPS butterfly tap, as you'll get better aim. Movement. Strafing is what everyone aims for and is really effective. Strafing is really just sprinting left and right and try not to get hit by the opposing player. Try to get behind their back so that you will get the opportunity to combo them. When comboing, go wide and strafe. The reason is that the enemy will constantly aim at you because you are moving so much it'll probably mess up the aim mostly. So try those. Next is jump resetting. When you are trading hits, jump resetting might make you win and start a combo. Jump resetting is basically jumping to go faster and taking less KB. It's all about the timing. If you fail, you might get comboed because you jumped and that'll give some boost for the opponent. So I suggest you to not fail every time. Also, sometimes you can do W tap. W tap is basically going forward and stand still, repeat. Your opponent can't reach you because you have the lower ground advantage. S tapping is for to create the biggest space possible and prevent your opponent from hitting you. People who play with claw on d-pad can use this ability to its fullest if you have practiced it enough. Also if the enemy can't be reached anymore, you can get extra reach by jumping and hit them. Ping. If you play against someone that has a big margin of ping than yours, then it will make a difference. Low ping registers hits faster. If you play above 150 ping, that is quite difficult for you. Projectiles Snowballs, bow, and ender pearls are essential in any PvP game mode. You can throw a snowball to get extra hit and KB and start a combo before they can. Or you can shoot a bow, that also counts.
keep in mind the enemy will obviously try to dodge it so you have to predict sometimes but if you catch them unexpectedly off guard then that works and their pearls can be used for aggro pearls clutching and ability to just teleport where you want to be at packs Vanilla texture pack sometimes can be difficult with the textures. If you have difficulties then use a texture pack that you are capable of. I like to change vanilla crosshair to a custom one, also the source to make it shorter and blocks with outline, etc. You can change mostly anything. So recently Microsoft added new controls to the game and to be honest I don't like it at all. It's very buggy and I'm sure that they'll fix it. This control contains auto sprint, ability to jump bridge, save bridge and MJ bridge. You can actually tap while aiming as well. But you can't tap anywhere on your screen. There are buttons that you have to tap in order to do those things. These controls are not 100% out yet but it can be updated by updating to the latest version of the game and apply texture pack. Blocks. Blocks are a game changing item. You can place blocks to trap and stall some time or you can place a block in front of them so that they jump and you get the low ground advantage and mess up their aim or sometimes you can just completely shut off their sprint. 